Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, thank you for coming back. So today I have a very exciting video for you. I'm going to be doing a designer trainer collection video and a little bit of styling as well with it. I absolutely love trainers, I have a very good collection of them now, all different price points, all different styles. Um, and they're definitely one of those hero pieces of my wardrobe. I love the comfort of them, I love how they look, and I'd say 50% of the time I'm wearing trainers, 30 or 40% of the time I'm wearing some kind of boot, and then the rest percentage I'm wearing heels. So I haven't picked out every single pair of trainers that I own, but I have put together a little edit of all the ones that I wear the most, all the ones that you guys ask about the most and the ones I think you guys will like the most as well. So make sure to pick ones that I know for a fact are available online so you guys can shop everything. So most of my trainers come from Farfetch. It's one of my absolute favorite places to shop online. I spoke to you guys about them quite a few times before but they are basically an online hub that holds so, so many different brands. It's such a lovely website to go through as well. It's a really pleasant experience shopping on there. And what they do is they source items from all over the world from different boutiques and department stores and then they ship them to you. I especially love it because the delivery is so super fast and also literally anything that you're looking for, you'll usually find it on Farfetch. I always mention this, but I think it's very important. The returns and exchange process as well is so seamless. Um, if you order something, you can maybe get a couple sizes if you're not sure, or if you order something and it doesn't fit or you don't quite love it as much as you thought you would, you literally just go online, type in the details and you can schedule someone to come and pick up your parcel by the next day, so it's a very, very easy process. I always like to just mention it as well, they have a really amazing pre-loved section which stocks so many amazing brands, so definitely check that out. And just finally, as always, I have a discount code for Farfetch, it will get you 10% off your order. T's and C's will be down below, but that is Nadia YT10, I'll pop it on screen here, and I'll also pop all the information um, in the description box, so make sure to check that out. This video was basically inspired because I went on Farfetch, I ended up buying a few new pairs of trainers, and I thought, do you know what, I may as well just talk to you guys about my whole collection, because it's a very, very commonly asked question, and I think it'd be a very handy thing for me to just run through all the pairs I have and why I love them. I'm going to start off on my newest pairs, and I'll work through to the oldest pairs that I have picked out to show you. Um, just a little thing as well, whenever you order from Farfetch, everything comes packaged in a box as though you'd gone into the store and bought it, so you get the boxes, you get the dust bags, so you really do get the full experience as well. But the first pair of trainers I picked up to add to my collection were these beautiful little white sneakers from Axel Arrogato. I've actually had my eye on these for a little while, at, well this brand, not this exact pair, and I was kind of umming and eyeing, like do I need them, do I not? But when I saw this pair, I thought these are perfect, is everything that I wanted and it, they just really really caught my eye. So these are called the Clean 90 Triple Sneakers and this is what they look like. They're a white leather, they have a very very soft grey trim at the front there and on the back they have this really cute touch of pink which I adored so much. I do really love a simple white trainer but I adore when a little patch of colour has been added in like this. Whether it's black or pink or just another little touch of colour to break up the white I think really really helps. I specifically bought these because I was looking for a pair of trainers that would work really well with midi dresses but also mainly with my jeans. I feel like I'm quite picky when it comes to what trainers I wear with my jeans so I thought these would be a very very good option. They're obviously quite low on the ankle. If you wear a little ankle cut jean you're going to see a peep of ankle and then the shoe. Having these two little tones as well I think will make them a lot more wearable. They're not just pure white, they will go with a few other things. So say I had like a little nude tank top on, I think this will work really really well into the outfit and then obviously on the front they are a little bit darker which actually is going to be really handy for if you end up scuffing the front it probably won't be as obvious because there is this little darker tone there as well they also have a tiny little bit of branding here and apart from that they're just quite a simple piece i think a very classic style a very simple shoe one that i'm going to get a lot of wear out of and I've tried them on and they're very, very comfortable so far. So I'm excited to work these into my wardrobe. So these ones were £170. And the last point on these I'll say is they're a really nice light shoe. So they're not super heavy. They're not going to weigh your feet down. They're very kind of airy and light and just a good comfortable one to own. Okay, next up is a beautiful pair of sneakers from Saint Laurent. These are the Andy sneakers. And I own one pair of YSL sneakers um, before these. And they are hands down the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life. I'm gonna to get to them in a minute because they are a sure hero in my wardrobe and I'm sure you guys know exactly what ones I'm talking about. 
but I was on the hunt for something that was actually 100% pure white, no detail. I do have a good little collection of trainers, but as I said about the last ones, all of them seem to have like a little bit of branding that's black on the side, or obviously the last one I just showed you had a bit of pink, or they'll have a tag on the back, and I don't actually own a pair that are just pure classic white sneakers. So when I saw these, I thought they were absolutely perfect, completely timeless, a lovely, lovely soft leather, and the only bit of branding is right there. You can see the logo. Um, in this lovely little gold color. I have said 101 times when I buy trainers, I try and find ones that have a little bit of something else on them to break up that stark white. However, I feel like I was actually missing a pair of pure white trainers. So I think these are the most perfect option. I don't know that I would wear these so much in high summer, but coming into the more kind of autumn days, I think these are going to look so amazing paired with leather trousers, blazers, um, more kind of like bluey toned jeans and oversized knits. A very, very casual style, but I feel like whenever you wear them, they are going to slightly elevate that outfit because they are so lovely and classic. So even like what I'm wearing now, a little black top, this camel colored blazer, if I did some black leather trousers and then popped these on my feet, they would look so, so perfect. Even though these are quite a casual, simple style, I don't tend to often wear this more kind of slimline trainer style with loungewear. I think they look a lot better paired with jeans or with trousers, like I say. So these were a, a little bit more expensive. They were 430 pounds, but I absolutely 110% think that Saint Laurent trainers are worth the money. As I say, the most comfortable shoes I've probably ever worn. Okay, my next pair of shoes, I don't think anyone will be that shocked to find out that they are from Chloe. These are the Chloe Lauren sneakers. They have loads and loads of different variations of the Lauren sneakers and I adore them. This is my third pair now so you guys know the lace ones that I have I'm going to get to I also have a pure white pair and I've been eyeing these ones up for a few months as well actually when I bought my lace ones I saw these and I thought hmm these are a very very cool style so this is what they look like they're a little bit more chunky of course so these ones as you can see a lot more slimline whereas these have the bigger sole they have just they're bigger overall the reason that I love the Lauren sneakers so much is even though they are a chunkier shoe they're very very flattering on very comfortable and actually quite a slimline shoe as well even though they have this bigger sole so these are in this beautiful kind of like dusky pink two different shades they've got a bit more of a nudie pink the more of a darker pink there they have this really lovely double double branding on the side they have the black chloe logo and then they have this lovely embroidered uh, gold logo there. They have a little Chloe ticket up the back and then they have this beautiful thick scalloped edge. As I say, this is my third pair of Chloe Lauren sneakers and I'm 110% confident these are going to get a lot of wear out of them. As you can probably tell with the colour I'm wearing now and the colour of these shoes, it just matches so beautifully. I also really adore this little black tag on the back. Obviously these are a lighter toned shoe and having that little ticket on the back just works so well. If there's a darker element of your outfit maybe, it just works really really good at tying everything in together. Such a tiny little detail but honestly I appreciate it again like what I'm wearing now the, the camel tones tie in with the whole shoe this little bit of gold ties in with gold jewelry and then this little bit of black just helps to tie in say like my trousers and my top so the one thing I will say about these is they are quite a heavy shoe to hold and to kind of when you pick them up initially you're probably going to be like oh they're quite quite clunky but actually when you're wearing them very comfortable your foot's very secure in them and they do not feel heavy when you're actually walking in them so I'm seeing these with basically every single outfit I'm seeing it with leather trousers I'm seeing it with midi skirts midi dresses blue jeans black jeans white jeans I feel like these are just a very good all-rounder, but just something a little bit different. I also really appreciate this little bit of gold on the side. I wear a lot of gold jewelry, as you guys know, and it's just little things like this. I mean, most people probably won't even notice, but I do notice the kind of uh, matching of little elements of outfits, so that definitely is handy. These ones retail at £404, and I would advise taking your normal size in Chloe trainers. I'll put all the information for that down below as well, though. Just before I jump into the rest of the trainers, I just want to quickly talk about the earrings that I'm wearing. Um, so these are the most beautiful little earrings I got on Farfetch as well. They're from Simone Rochelle. You might remember I had a pair of pearl earrings a couple months ago that I also picked up on Farfetch, also from Simone Rocha, and they were stunning. You guys always ask me about them. So when I saw these, this is their new season kind of version of them, and I just think they're beautiful. They're a lot thicker than my other ones, and the other ones had odd kind of facing pearls, whereas these ones have drop pearls, which I think is so sweet. These especially would work 
so nice with these shoes because you've got the gold with the gold you've got this kind of like pearly kind of nudie colors to match them with the pearl and i just think that they're going to be such a good pairing with my earrings call me crazy but it's a thing just love the super elegant kind of pearl of these paired with the chunkier uh, gold hoop i think it's like a very good combination of classic and modern so there's a little closer look at them moving on this is probably my newest pair and you guys have seen them a lot but these are the chloe lauren lace sneakers um, I have absolutely worn these to death. I don't know how many of you watched the video where I first got them in, um, but I was kind of, I said I was umming and eyeing over them. For a good year, I've been umming and eyeing over them. So when I first got them through the door, I loved them. I thought they were amazing, but I really did not think I was going to wear them as much as I have. I actually got to the point where like I was struggling not to wear them. Like I'd put them on and I think, I can't, I can't put these on again. Like it's ridiculous. But they are just such a fab pair of, woo, fab pair of trainers. Also got these on Farfetch and I did also see that Farfetch have these in a navy color. And I'm really debating that for the autumn winter because I feel like navy would work better coming into the colder months. So this is a closer up little look of them. And um, this is obviously a lace detailing, but actually, there is a mesh behind it. So I know I got a lot of questions asking about wearing these out uh, in the rain and how practical they were gonna be. But actually I found them to be very practical. I actually don't wear a sock with them or if I do wear a sock, I'll just wear a, uh, like a skin colored um, pop sock. The canvas actually is really durable. I don't be wearing these out in the pouring rain. If it was spitting, they'd be absolutely fine. And honestly, for the amount of times I've worn these, they have just held up so good. I really thought these would only go with my more kind of uh, kind of cute and girly outfits, like my dresses and my midi skirts. But I have found these to go with everything. I wear them with leather. I wear them with black jeans, blue jeans. I wear them with dresses, skirts, shorts. Every single thing in my wardrobe, these work so perfectly for. So I could not recommend these enough. Probably my most favorite pair of trainers in my whole wardrobe. I can't remember exactly, but I think these were around about the 400 pound mark as well. Also, the last point on these is they're probably one of my most comfortable shoes ever. I've actually worn them traveling as well. Um, and they're kind of the shoe that I opt for at the minute. So yeah, very, very comfortable, a great purchase and cost per wear, we're probably down to about three pounds. <laughs> okay, moving on is another absolute favorite pair of shoes and another pair that I found on Farfetch. So these are the Isabel Morant Kinsey sneakers. This is what they look like. A lot more um, sort of sporty than the normal style of trainer that I would tend to lean towards. I really, really fell in love with these and I thought they were such a cool little shoe to own i have found though i'm not wearing them um as often as some of my other pairs really because they only work with some outfits and it's not always the same style it's just certain looks work and certain looks don't so i found them to work really really well with kind of split hem trousers and leggings i find them to also work so beautifully with tailoring i think they really do such a good job at um casualing up more of a tailored outfit so i love them with oversized blazers i love them with leather and i also love them with kind of suit trousers also really really love all the different tones into these trainers and i think they're definitely more of a autumn winter pair for me rather than a summer i would never wear these and have never worn them with dresses or midi skirts or anything like that more of a trouser kind of thing for me they also came with lace options one with this little purple injection and one was pure white but i went for the purple injection so these ones retail at 445 pounds 110 percent worth the money even though i'm not wearing them as much as i thought i would so that i don't find that they work with as many outfits as i thought they would i still adore them i still think they're a very classic shape and style they're probably one of my only kind of sporty looking shoes that i own the only only thing is and this is not um the shoes fault it's 100 percent my fault i wore these i think i wore these out with blue jeans in the rain and if you can kind of see that bit on the back there the dye of the jean has kind of leaked onto there so actually farfetch have a um restoration um like service it's called farfetch fix it's actually in collaboration with the restory who are an amazing company and you can send your stuff to and they will completely and utterly revamp them for you so i think i'm going to send these off to farfetch fix and try and see if they can get that ink dye out or at least minimize it um, but apart from that, I adore them. They're a great shoe and they work super, super well into my wardrobe, just not with everything. Okay, so next up is another pair of Saint Laurent sneakers. These are called the Court Classics. I've had these for, I want to say, maybe a year, a year and a half. They've been very, very, very loved by me. I actually, same with these ones. 
how I feel about these ones now. I felt about these for a good solid six, seven months. I could not stop wearing them. I was just obsessed with them. They made every single outfit look amazing. And they are just such a good timeless shoe to have. They are very, very, very similar to my newer pair. Although these ones are a lot more slimline. These ones are a little bit less um, neat front on. As I said earlier, these are one of my most comfortable shoes ever. I could wear them from the get-go, even worn them out without socks and in like the blistering hot sun and they're still the most comfortable things in the world. I love these so much because they are a classic white trainer. However, they have this little bit of branding on the side there, a little black patch on the back there and then they have this darker rubber sole which I think looks really sweet. The logo on the side is embroidered as well in quite a kind of like casual font. Does that make sense? It almost looks like it's been scribbled on and I think that's such a cool touch. It makes them feel very casual, very effortless, but they're still a really good classic chic pair of trainers. So these ones retail at £475 and I found these to work with a lot. I wear these with loungewear, I wear them with leggings, I wear them with uh, blazers and tailoring, I wear them with jeans and chunky knits. Um, I also wear them with midi skirts and midi dresses, so I feel like these really are a true everything in my wardrobe um, pair of shoes. Next up is another pair of Chloe Lauren lace sneakers. These were my first Chloe Laurens, and this is what they look like. So they are a classic white shoe, similar to these ones, all white, very, very simple. These are the same. However, I really, really was drawn to these because they are chunky, and I love a chunky shoe. And I thought a chunky white shoe, again, was a really good combination of a classic style mixed in with something a little bit more modern. Um, these also have a little black ticket on the back and then they have this nude lining which I think is really sweet especially with um, ankle cut jeans you get a little pop of that it's a really lovely touch to add on and then these also have the scalloped bottom with all of the Lauren sneakers so although I absolutely adore these so much and they go with literally everything in my wardrobe the only thing I will say is I got these in a size too small and it's not that they don't fit me because they do but it's just to be 110% comfortable, I need to have a size up. And I didn't actually realize that until I'd gone out and worn them a few times. So trying them on at home and kind of pottering around the house and trying them on with outfits, it felt as though they fit, but actually wearing them out and actually walking long distance, not long distance, but you know, around town, um, I started to notice that I was getting quite bad blisters at the back of my foot and they were rubbing a little bit. They are a lot more comfortable now that I've worn them a good couple times. The leather has kind of worn in a little bit. However, I needed to go a size up. So these are actually a 35 and my other Chloe ones are a size 36. So I now take a whole size up from these. Um, however, I will not be getting rid of them. I do really love them. And I tend to just wear them now more throughout autumn, winter so that my feet don't get as hot and then rub. These ones retail at 370 pounds. And also just whilst I'm on a pair of white trainers that I have worn a lot, I'll just tell you how I clean them because I get asked this so many times how I keep my uh, my trainers nice and clean the answer is makeup wipes <laughs> I don't have anything specific that I clean my shoes with if there's a little bit of scuff like there is on the front here or I think I actually yeah I have somehow got foundation on the side of these I think when I was carrying them up from my office I had them all like <laughs> bundled in I would literally just grab a simple makeup wipe and get all that off and it works a treat. I've been doing that for honestly, probably like 10 years. That's how I clean my shoes. <laughs> I'm sure there is probably a better way, but there we go. The Farfetch have the best selection of Chloe trainers. Honestly, every season they have all the new styles. They have such a good little collection over there. So I would definitely go and check that out. On to the last three pairs of trainers. Um, I couldn't do a trainer video without including my Veja V10s. These have been worn to death. I, again, really did not think I was going to wear these as much as I truly do. Um, they really do just see the light of day. And they are so fab. They are such a good trainer. Very, very comfortable once you have worn them in. I actually have bought other pairs of Vejas, which are lovely shoes. However, I just don't wear them. I just never, ever, ever wear any other pair of Vejas apart from these ones. I think I just like that these are such a classic Veja style. They are obviously white, they have the darker sole, they have a touch of black, and I just find them very wearable. These really need to go through the wash. I actually went out in fake tan and it was raining and my fake tan leaked into the inner sole, so they're kind of stained in there. There's two things about these that I don't like. The first is when you do first receive, actually three, three things. When you first receive them, 
this tongue is like a knife. It's so, so hard. But for the first couple times I wore them, I had to fold it down um, so that it wouldn't dig in. To be honest though, that's more just when I'm driving where my foot would be like moving in the shoe. This would really cut in, but walking, it's, it was fine. The other thing I don't like is whenever I wear them, this tongue just slips around to the side like this, which is really annoying. However, there is a bit on the tongue where you're meant to have laced it with the lace, that like you meant to put the laces through the tongue, so that doesn't happen. So that means that is my fault. Um, but it's just something to note, it's a little bit annoying. Other thing is, these are a size UK 3, and that's my normal size, but these are too big, slightly too big. So if I could, I'd get a two and a half, but I don't think they do a two and a half. I don't think they do. I've looked and I think I don't think I'm wrong in saying that they don't come in a two and a half with well, this style anyway. So I just have to get the three, but it, I mean, it does fit. It's just it's not as snug as I'd like it to be. Apart from that, though, they are such a great classic timeless shoe and I highly recommend. Again, Farfetch have such a good selection of Vasia trainers over there. So definitely check them out. Okay, the next pair of trainers I haven't really worn as much as I used to. Um, but I thought I should include them because I do love them, I do wear them, and I feel like they're such a good classic style again to have. These are the Alexander McQueen oversized low top sneakers. You guys will probably have seen these everywhere a hundred thousand times. I feel like the whole world was obsessed with them for so long um, and literally every single person was wearing them and they are such a great shoe. I really like them. They're very flattering on. They look so good paired with um, leather and blazers again. However, I just feel like I am kind of over them. I do still wear them and I literally wore them the other day. I think they are great, but I think that I probably wore them too much and that I got sick of them. Also, I don't ever wear these in the spring, summer. I only ever wear them throughout autumn, winter. So maybe that's why I'm saying that now. Um, but I know coming into the colder months when I'm wearing sort of straight leg leather trousers and black knits, these are what I would reach for. Um, they are a very, very durable shoe, a very comfortable shoe and a very durable shoe. At 420 pounds cost per wear, I honestly would say is about one pence. I've worn them to death. Um, and they actually look very, very good. I've never tried to like clean them or brush them up. They're just in very good condition. I went for the ones with the black back, but these come with lots and lots of different colors and different style options, which is cool. Um, and overall, yeah, I just, I like them. I had to include them because I do still wear them and I do still love them. I won't be getting rid of them. It's just, I haven't been wearing them much over the last few months. These also were probably one of my first designer shoe purchases. No, not designer shoe. These are one of my first designer trainer purchases. This and also the Gucci with the little B on the side. I do have them still, but I didn't show them because I don't ever wear them. Um, but yeah, I have a little love for these. I think they're a good little pair to have. Good classic pair. And then the absolute final thing I'm going to show you are my Yeezys. These I have worn to... I mean, I say it's about everything, every single pair, I think. I have worn these to death. They're very much a gym leggings and shoe. I don't wear them for anything other than gym leggings, but they're so comfortable. I wear them all the time. I wear them for traveling. I wear them for running errands. They are just a very cool shoe to have. And I do know that Farfetch stock lots of Yeezys. Um, I'm actually in the market for a new pair because my dog got a hold of these, unfortunately. Um, but I just think they're a really good trainer. I do love them. And then with these as well, it felt like every single person was wearing them at one point. I feel like the kind of hype over them is slightly died, but I still think that they are such a good shoe to own. Very comfortable, very sleek on the foot, and a really good one, um, as I say, for casual wear, traveling, all that stuff. I've just realized he's also taken off the little plastic bit on there. These are really wrecked. <laughs> and you already have seen this styled up with one of the cutaways with the trainers, but I just wanted to mention it because I picked it up on Farfetch the other day and I'm obsessed with it. Farfetch have the most incredible stock of Anine Bing, who's a really cool designer, and I haven't actually owned anything from her before. This is what I went for, a little two-piece grey tracksuit, um, and the quality is lovely. So these have an elastic waistband. They are just grey, simple joggers with a tight cuff. And they have a little bit of branding here. And just to go with that, I picked up this matching grey jumper with a bit of branding across the front. It's just a, a grey, simple sweater. Long sleeve, nice cuffs. Um, just a really, really good little set. I really like it. Um, and also, this jumper, it came from America. And it wasn't meant to be here until Monday. And it actually arrived on 
I think it arrived on like Thursday. It came in like three days from America, which is incredible. So this is my newest little lounge set and I love it so much. Okay, so that is the end of my whole trainer collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed that and got some inspo. As I say, I will leave all the sizing and information down below. So definitely head down there to check that out. Remember, if you are going to shop anything, use my discount code because it will get you 10% off. And that is NadiaYT10. I'll pop it on screen and I'll also pop all the T's and C's down below. Um, if you did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Also, let me know what your favourite pair of trainers was down below. I'd love to hear. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.